Hi everyone. Today is Saturday, April 30th, 2016, and we're taking a look at some of the events all around us to show we're nearing the end of days, the time of the book of Revelation and Revelation 18. When this great stone, Babylon, falls, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. Then the new world order rises up. This is a cataclysmic event that happens to the USA and even to the Vatican to let a new world order rise up. They could blame it all on terrorism or somebody like uh, North Korea and such with nuclear bombs. But all the world is preparing for this event. Right here you can see all of the New World Order right on a vision board with the Pope working with Russia. So even after something happens to the Vatican and to the USA, they all come together for a New World Order right here. You can even see that this is when the white horse rides and the time of the red comes across the earth. And even this UFO guy, which is in the Bible as the idle shepherd. And right here, this man has the mark of the beast with these visors on. And the Bible says they will be made to worship the image of the beast, like that guy right there in that spaceship. And all of these people will give their power and their nations and all of their kingdoms to the beast. See him? That's probably him up there, with Russian Orthodox Church and Islam all together. Well, we've had several things go on around us. We even have this new Google Doodle here for Claude Shannon's 100th birthday see this here looking like you can see the 100 but do you see those two zeros that he's dancing around with the slash through it which actually we have shown that that means when the the key to open the abyss happens of the Bible like nuclear war beginning he was known for being a mathematician these are his riddles if we could figure it all out is there a hundred days left or so to go he died in 2001 we see this date of the 21st an awful lot around us. Now this is how weird these things are. Do you see how it says Petoski right in there where he's from? Because it's actually the end of the time of the pet. We're nearing the time of what's known as the end of the dog. Here we'll show. First off, let's go right up to... Oh, let's go ahead and show this. Take that off. We're going to come back over to Pittsburgh because it represents when the pit is opened and there was a a large event happened there just two days ago or yesterday. Now right here is San Diego where we trapped the, tracked the beginning of the fifth age. You see the five right here? See the eagle ready to go? The whole earth is designed to show this. Even the God made everything. San Clemente means mercy for this great earthquake that is set to come upon the world. Do you see the dog right here? This represents a foot of Jesus Christ. And this is the beginning of the fifth age. See the V right there? The end of the time of the pet. It's the end of the time of the Gentiles. Because then what comes upon the world is the time of the law. See here? And this giant catastrophic event coming, even having to do with this defunct power plant which has all the rods in it. <laughs> and stuff stored in there. It, something's meant to happen down here to start the great earthquake, the beginning of the end. You can see right here on the seal for San Diego. See it right here? Do you see the ship ready to launch and the two pillars as we've shown before? Right there? Well this one has everything in it right upside down. Can you see the dog? See there? And now it's time for that all to go up. Can you see in the middle? It represents the end of the time of the two witnesses. See right there? And it's going up with all the souls. See how they're going right through the doors? And then you can see down below it the dog and the nuke coming that will land down here in San Diego. See the end of the time of the dog? This represents when the great whore is burned with fire. See the nuke? Ready? All perfect, right there. This is repetitive, flown over and over and over again. This represents the eagle going. 
the Revelation 911 beast coming. See, right there in front of us, the dog. Then that there, Clemente. Now there were more signs. There was a, a this is repetitive over and over and over again, all around us it happens. Um, in Pennsylvania, near Route 22, again we've seen this number, there was a giant explosion in Salem, representing when the great whores burned with fire. See this right here? It was like looking into hell. So right here, we, if we go over there, and this area maps out the same things, the end of days coming, the beast rising from the bottomless pit, we will just have more verification. And everybody keep watch as we move into this next month. So let's head over towards where this is in Pennsylvania near Route 22 and Route 819. So here's Pennsylvania, and here's where Route 22 and Route 819 are. Right down here near the Salem Township. See, 819. 22. See the number 22 again? 22 and 819. So we should see something like a Pope with the key to open the abyss, even the word like the pit being raised, and then show the great whore being burned with fire, and then death walking is what should be shown to us. See the Pittsburgh? There's the Pope. Do you see him perfect? Do you see him putting in the key to open the abyss? No matter what an architect does, this stuff will all come out as it's supposed to. We have a fate, and, and the fate's real. God knows to what choices you're going to make. You have freedom of choice, but he already knows what we're going to do. So there he is, and he's putting in the key to open the abyss. So right here at Route 22, where this giant explosion happened, it was a Pennsylvania gas line, a giant gas line, and they said it looked like they were looking into hell. That was all burning with fire. See that right there? Do you see the woman burned with fire yet? The great whore? There she is. See her right there? That represents the great whore being burned with fire. Perfect. See the yellow line? See it all perfect? See the key to open the abyss right there? See how it's perfect? And there's the key to open the abyss. Now what comes out of the abyss? So there's the great whore burned with fire. We don't know about a date, but there's the key to open the abyss. And then what comes out is a black smoke beast that goes off to torment mankind. You can see him right here, even with the number 22 again also. See his little knife? All perfect by the lines. This is all going by the hand of God, as it's supposed to. And there's the full pick. After the great whore is burned with fire and the grievous head wound happens, now this person here is getting the mark of the beast. But do you see that we're nearing the time with the key to open the abyss? And there's the woman right there, burned with fire. And there comes the black smoke beast. Everything that we've been showing. So that's what that giant explosion was here, and everybody looked like hell was opening. We don't know a date, guys, but we're nearing the end. So keep faith. And I will see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. See all of that goes perfect by the lines? Even to the key, even to the woman. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.